So we're going to now take and add a feature to our cube and revolve it. So to start a feature, as always, we're going to click on the sketch button and select our face. And then I'm often going to rotate my cube so I can look at that face directly. This time I'm going to use one of the more complex shapes. I'm going to use the inscribed polygon. And the first step is we're going to drop the location center point for our polygon. And then I'm going to go and drag the location, the size and move my mouse up and down to pick the number of sides. I'm going to do a triangle, and that's going to get my overall shape. Now, this is the blue shape, so I need to make sure I dimension things. So the first step is I'm going to use dimension here. I want this to be centered from here to here. So that's going to be 0.5 slash 2, or 1 slash 2. And I'm going to place this edge, I don't know, uh, 0.5 away. And then I'm going to make the overall from tip to tail be 0.35. With those dimensions, this is overall is shaped. It's locked in place. Uh, just to note, this circle is technically construction. So we can't actually extrude that, the circle. It's just to help us reference the shape of our polygon. Constructions are really useful. We'll talk about those a little bit later. So we now have our overall, our piece, it's fully done. I'm now going to go back to a three-dimensional view. This time I'm gonna go look this way. And instead of extruding, I'm going to revolve this face. So revolve needs a feature. So I'm gonna select the feature. It says I selected the triangle automatically. And I need to pick an axis. So I'm gonna pick this axis here. And it's going to take and spin this shape about that side. Now I could remove this and the difference would be that I would have those triangle faces, but I'm gonna leave that as a handle. I think it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna hit add and now I have that piece. The third option is actually intersect and that would give me everything where just the cube and the, the loop intersected, but adds what we really want. I'm now gonna hit check and now I have a shape. Now looking at this, Actually, I don't really want the hole to go through. I'm now going to edit the revolve. And I'm going to change the axis from the full to one direction. And I'm going to set the angle to be 270. Now, if it's the wrong way, I'm going to pick the switch direction. Because that would be the inside. I want the outside angle. So it's going to spin this way and I'll leave the hole. Sort of like a kettlebell thing. So now I have a cube with a ring sticking out of it. And that ring was made with the revolve.